y a este palito santo, o fresco, sus humos curativos, limpiadores, elevadores, a mi gran hermana, Janet Harvey, Tia Yukui Warmicha, my beloved sister, Janet Harvey, welcome to Rendezvous with Soul, a co-reflective process in which you tell the world who you are as a sanctioned Pachacuti Mesa teacher. Thank you for showing up, my beloved. It's an honor. So I have a couple of questions for you that will lead us in the direction that will most radiate your beauty as a medicine carrier. And the first question is, what initially drew you to the practice of Pachacuti Mesa tradition shamanic arts? I happened to be at the mountain with another group. And a friend of mine left the group, went over to your gathering, came back radiant and said, you must go, you must go. I have been going to the mountain for probably 36 years for different um, aspects of my life, from religious educator to youth groups to meetings. And I know the treehouse. I know what it looks like. And then I walked to the treehouse. I looked in. I was stunned. I was in total amazement because I immediately felt the energy. Aloria was there and she invited me to step in. She invited me to sit at one of the mesas and I went, oh no, I just need to take in this whole room. I immediately, without knowing anything about the tradition, realized that whatever this was, every single cloth represented a person and each one emanated that person's um, most, their, their self and had obviously sacred objects. And then I could see that there was a communal center, a ceremonial center. So part of it was for me that this was living energy. This was the sacred embodied in all of these mesas and in this ceremonial center. And that's without knowing anything. So I was very curious. And then at lunch, I started meeting some of the people who were part of this gathering. And as I met them, I realized that they were not following. What I heard was this shaman from Peru, who I had heard of many you know, people who kind of came and went with sweat lodges and I was like, oh, okay, but it's, you know, is this another person that everybody, oh, I've got to follow this person. And what I found were people with their own inner integrity who were not following, they were in the company of and receiving teachings, but they were represented in their own individuality in community. And as a Unitarian Universalist, where one of the beliefs is the priesthood of all believers, this was it. Because everybody was their own sacred person in community. And when I found out, you know, they've got a fireman and a therapist and a person who works at Macy's and Chanel, and it was like, this is different. This is different. So I was as much uh, just intrigued with this community. And I had no idea who you were. 
I watched as my friend participated in the weekend, a whole troop of people coming out of the doors of the treehouse and going to Meditation Rock with rattles and all sorts of things. I thought, this is interesting. And I saw two people, one of whom I thought was Oscar, around this pile of rocks there at Meditation Rock. And they were doing things. I thought, this is interesting. And I thought, Sam Austin was the great Oscar. So I was like totally intrigued without even having met you. And captured or captivated by what I witnessed and what I felt and the and who I met. So that was the beginning. What you just shared is the essence of this lineage as a catalyst of individual empowerment that nurtures sacred community without dependency on any outside source of authority except one's own agency as a soul. So thank you so much for providing an exquisite foundation for anybody who's listening or viewing this interview to understand that this is a path that is self-selected, self-directed, and self-transformation. Capital S, self. And you're an exquisite embodiment of that, my beloved. Thanks for showing up. And sticking with it all these moons. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and meeting you. <laughs> I'm a friendly holographic projection, hopefully, of your of your beautiful self. <laughs> Thank you. It's all done with mirrors, as I'm fond of saying. So I have a second question for you that fits with this one. And it's about, you know, what... In what most significant manner do you consider that being a sanctioned Pachakuti Mesa tradition teacher, now that you are a mentor to others, has your life transformed, evolved, or changed? What I have, <clears throat> what I have found is that this is a, an honor. It's a sacred privilege with coming with a humility and a respect for the lineage, the wisdom of the lineage, the practice of the lineage, and the unfolding of the lineage, that this is not a practice that is static or uh, in some sort of solid form that cannot be changed, that it's a, a living tradition that has certainly unfolded and changed in my time with the tradition in many ways as our lives have changed. You know, even I was thinking going from emails to Facebook to, I still don't have Instagram, but the the ways that the teachings are transmitted is different and yet remains in its essence the same. That whether you or I are kukui or with smoke, whether that's on a screen or in person, it's transmitted, it's felt, and so much is, comes to be embodied. And that's probably the greatest evolution for me, is the embodiment. And it was a, a word that Jason Blasing was working on. And I, it was like a little gold nugget that, you know, I would look at it this way and look at it that way, and what is embodiment? But that's what we do. 
we embody the practices, we embody the mesa, and it becomes a way of being. And that's what I found. It's a way of being. When I go for a hike, I don't just go for a hike. There are things I have to do <laughs> while I'm on the hike. I have to ask permission and I have to be respectful and I have to come in humility and reverence in order to interact with the world's, the unseen world, what is seen and what's unseen. So it's become a, a path with many surprises along the way. May they continue, my love. Yes. And in Aini, for that exquisite response, which is an ongoing process of transformation, has no finality, I offer you a fukui from my seguro. Ah. May you receive it with good medicine, intentions, and deep, deep love for showing up in my life and the life of all those that are your students now and will be in the future. Con esta vista aromática de mi seguro, ofrezco esta chaya a mi buena hermana Janet Hardy. Bien recibido. May you breathe it in and may it continue to embody with love, grace, and compassionate service your earth walk, my love. Thank you for being here together. Thank you. Until next time, beauty one. <laughs> <laughs>